for this. We left our quiet home. It'd be worth it, somebody. Your position at the university wasn't enough. The clever young geologist had to show off. You found the mine everybody said was all worked out, and you proved there still was gold. And for what? For us. Anything worth all this? We got this, Lisa. Here, take the gold. We've paid for every ounce of it. Worrying, frightened of our lives every hour of the day. Knowing it would all end like this. It hasn't ended. What do you call this? You were against it right from the beginning, Lisa. You kept on criticizing. Kept on sneering at it. You knew it would end like this, huh? I hope that you're satisfied you were right all along. I'm still your wife, Paul. For another day or two. But soon you won't be able to say that. Just give me a day or two longer, and then you're free. Men are going to come flocking around such a nice young widow. Like a pretty widow with a fortune in gold. Yes, you're going to be mighty attractive with all this gold. Someone else is going to enjoy this gold. Gold that was ours. No, Paul. I can bring help. Can you do it? I'd have a chance if you could get to Nito de Aguila. There's a town near here? I can't really call it a town. Nothing there now, but it used to be a busy place. And they'll do anything to get money. So maybe you can get one of those men to come on out here. Off of this gold. My only chance. How far is it? It'll take about two days. And between here and Nito de Aquila, there's nothing. But Lisa. Don't go. That town's no place for a decent woman. Lisa! The Winchester! <laughs> and I want some whiskey! How badly does it hurt? It's all right, Lisa. Don't worry. I'll ride fast. Lisa, if you never return here, I'll understand. No, Paul, you mustn't say it.
Will it ever end? Will it always be this way? Will I have to leave each day? Waiting for the night oh. Then to face the night Waiting for the light And playing my part Fool my heart The same old story Will it ever end? Am I really blind? How will I ever find The will to break this chain that binds Through my love for you This heart of mine you choose to break for that blouse you are wearing, Juanita. Why don't you ask Paco? <laughs> ask Paco. Are you uh, an American? Yeah. My name is Lisa Martin, and yours? Collins, Joe Collins. You've got to help me, Mr. Collins. I've left my husband half buried and wounded back in the Sierras. It'll take at least three men to get him out. But right away, there's no time. If I've got to go any further to find help, he'll die. Please, Mr. Collins. I don't speak Spanish. I don't know any of the people here in this godforsaken place. Anyone I've tried to talk to so far has only been interested in me. That's understandable in a godforsaken place. My husband told me this was our only hope here at Nido de Aguila, the eagle's nest. <laughs> Vulture's nest would be more like it. But I can pay. I can pay very well. There's probably somebody here who'll help you. Even the dumbest stuff will understand the word money. Just ask them. I'm sorry about your husband, but... He's back in the Sierras, and you know what that means. It means he'll die up there without help. It also means the Chato gang, the meanest bunch in this territory. You know, they even held off the U.S. Cavalry. Of which I... I once had the honor of being an officer. Their idea of fun is a word called torture. And the only thing they're interested in is gold and women. But I got through, and I saw no gang, not a soul. Oh, you were just plain lucky, Mrs. Martin, so forget it. And let my husband die? You've got to help. You said that you had been an officer. There must be a little honor left in you, some decency, some principle. You can save the fine talk for the gentleman who sat at my court-martial. And for the fine Texas Rangers who've been hunting me like a coyote ever since I shot a man who's better off dead than alive. 
Do you want to ask them about Joe Collins? Go ahead. They'll tell you Joe Collins hasn't got any principles. $2,000 in gold. All you have to do is come with me. You can name your own price, Mr. Collins. I've had as high as $5,000 on my head. And that still isn't enough to make me want to risk my skin, Mrs. Martin. So you take your money and yourself and go peddle them someplace else because I'm not buying. Hey, senorita. Uh, put me down. No, 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 Here, take her. Are you all right, Mr. Collins? No. I'm very, very grateful, gentlemen. It is nothing, miss. After all, I can't lose the, the man who sells me guns. I had been speaking to Mr. Collins about a job. Perhaps you might be interested, too, Mr. Mr. Who is, miss? She's a missus, and her husband's trapped near a mine in the Sierras. And Mrs. Martin doesn't know about Chato. Mr. Gomez, is there something you can do to help me? Chato and his gang are my friends. More like members of a family, really. My, my friends depend on me because, well, I, um, well, I, I think I can help you, Mrs. Martin. With me, you and Joe need not worry. There is nothing, truly nothing I would not do for, for my good friend, Senor Cali. Listen, Gomez, I want to tell you something. Tell me a little more about your happy family relationship with Chato, you bastard. You must have known the weapons were for Chato. Who else is there to pay your crazy prices? Listen, Gomez. Selling guns to outlaws is one thing, but selling them to a killer of women and children is something else. Chato's not so bad, and his gang is the only power from here to Texas. Uh, but I won't tell anyone that the guns come from you. It's between you and me, a little secret, huh? It better be. So from now on, you keep your mouth shut. Hey, Collins, we can help the senora. Let's make a deal. Look, all I want is a gold mine. As for the woman, take her, I'm not interested. Two bastards aren't enough, Gomez. We'll need at least four. Of bastards, we can take our choice. I know them all. I don't doubt it.
When you uh, see your pimp, we can use him. Never guessed that you'd grow up to be a great gunfighter, and that I, that I would sing to pigs. I spit in the milk of their mothers. You know, Paco, you'll be working soon. They're looking for two bastards. Uh, and I'm bastard number one, huh? <laughs> Every time you have to go away on a trap may be the last time. Now maybe you have a chance to change all that. I figured that you, you're going to a gold mine. And no one will say a word if, if you come back alone. Yeah, but not alone. The gold will be with me. <laughs> It's simple enough. What do I get out of it? A hundred dollars. <laughs> hey, Collins. All right, I'll do it. One hundred dollars. All right, that's pretty good for buying a pig and a poke. I don't even know if you can shoot straight. Pick it up. <laughs> You're not bad, Collins. <laughs> now we are three. I'll get Fernando. He's strong as a boar and a stupid. Fernando, you might have ruined all my instruments. There are your bullets. Right where they always were at. You wouldn't dream of telling me anything, eh? Eh? Where are you going? The job with Gomez. And Paco and Collins. Collins? I want to go along, too. I can shoot. Well... I can open strong boxes. He's not that kind of job. Just a man trapped in the Sierras. We pull him out and I get $50. If that's all, why is Collins paying so well? Shut up. Collins will take me, if you ask. Is that so? That's to remind you his boss. Fernando. Fernando? We're still friends, aren't sure, we? Mama. Oh, what a friend to have.
I'll be with you. Oh, the right Reverend Riley. Good morning. How goes it for you, Gomez? Well, I try to go with God, right Reverend. Are you American? This is Senor Collins. He's Americano, and so is Mrs. Martin. Mrs. Martin's husband is half buried in a landslide in the Sierras, right, Reverend? Is he? Oh, well. The Lord's our shepherd. He loves us all, and he'll never abandon the lost lamb. Perhaps I might be of some small assistance. We wouldn't want to take you away from your sacred duties, Reverend. You see, my sacred duties are where I find them. I'm a wandering missionary. And I also have some skills which might be useful in this errand of yours. Actually, the Reverend is a very good medical man. Let him come, please. He might be very helpful. All right, Reverend. Join the party. Take care of them, we don't make it. Keep watch over us, Father. We are poor sinners. Father, I accept the soul of this poor sinner. That's Chato's printing, all right. He can't be far away. Courage, Mrs. Martin. Such a sight was not meant for your eyes. But you have seen it. The Lord works in many ways. Nobody told me we were going to face Chato. If you want out, there's an open road all the way back to Nido de Aguila.
place to camp. Fernando, you take the first watch, then I will relieve you. All right. My cloth shouldn't bar me from the pleasure of a man. I should have my turn with her as much as anyone. Oh, my God. 
don't need to kill him. You stay there, Colin. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Thank you for the second time. Mrs. Martin, there's something you ought to know. There are only two things that hold this little band of ours together. You and the gold. But I never mentioned a gold mine. You knew there was one from the very beginning. The only reason this outfit of ours is stuck together this long is because you know the way. You mean all of you? Even that preacher? How many preachers you know carry a six-gun? Then why did you let me hire them? Well, back there in Nita de Agala, you said you were willing to risk anything to save your husband. Are you trying to tell me you aren't any different? You can't be like the rest of them. I like gold just like anybody else. I can't help myself, Mr. Collins. I trust you. I find it somehow natural to be with you. Natural? I hope to hell when you're back in New Orleans, you'll remember this time as one of the worst you ever lived through. If you lived through it. Paco, I'll take the watch now. goes well, Shadow. We should be there before sundown. Good. Well, everything he has agreed? You'll get your share. Shadow keeps his word. But now, what about the guns? You'll promise 20 more. But Collins doesn't like to sell his guns to you. Have patience. I promise I'll find a place where he hides them. And soon. Guns and ammunition and with no expense. Good. But I'm even more interested in you getting to that gold mine. Where the hell have you been? I thought I heard a sound and went to look, but it was nothing. An easy ride from now on. No danger. Stick close to me. How far is it to the mine? We should be there before sundown. Easy ride from now on. Uh, no danger. Well, these tracks have been on our trail ever since we left this morning. Uh, you know Chato's my friend. I didn't say anything about Chato. Well, he, he buys a gun or two from you. Ah, Ringo. Oh, shut up about that. That is something I don't like. Don't do it again. One of these days, I'm going to take those guns of yours and ram them down your throat. You're going to take them first. Stop it. I'm not paying you to settle your personal feuds. When my husband is safe, you can do what you want, but not now. Thank you. 
Chateau and these, uh, these choir boys we're traveling with. I'm not worried or afraid. Since I've been around you, I've learned something. How to be brave, I guess. Remember when we pull out of this, you and your husband are going to head right straight for home. Cursed bird of prey. Wings of Satan. They mean death. Death just ahead of us. Yeah, we know all about that. Mrs. Martin told us there were six or seven dead. There are more dead than that. Where did you study for the ministry, Reverend? At the seminary. In Southern California. When were you ordained? A long time ago, Mr. Collins. Yeah, a long time ago. But a short time ago, you were in the Monterey prison for some killings. Cash, of course. Now, look, your past doesn't bother me one single bit. But let's keep everything nice and friendly. All right? of thy mercy shine on this poor creature. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Shlato, it's history. I know this man. Hey, I know this man. It's Miguelito, one of Chato's best men. I didn't take this job to go against Chato. There was always that chance that Chato might get here first. He's been tortured. And a very fine job, too. Typical of Chaco. But the gold. We came for that. Where is it? You'd better tell him, Mrs. Martin. You, too. All right. Your gold is in that shack. Because thou art dust, 
and to dust returneth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Come on. Shadow's pattern. One shot until the nerves of his enemy start to crack. And? And then he strikes. You see anything? Not a sign. Yet. It's my business. Collins! <laughs> Collins! Yeah! No need to get killed, Collins. Send out the woman and her gold. That's all we want. Good work. It's my hobby. Yeah. Paco, Gomez, Fernando, Riley! You gonna let Collins cost you your lives? Kill him! Kill him and send out the woman! We want the gold and the woman! Send out the woman! Not too bad for the Reverend. He's a much better shot than I thought. I think if we went to Chato, there would be too many to share the gold. The Russians, they die. But I think we discourage them, eh, Collins? Yeah, but that shadow's clever, I'll tell you. Gomez! Gomez! He's taking a look around. Hey, that was good shooting for a preacher. <laughs> you see me shoot? I think I got one. You still want me to take my pistols and ram them, Collins? Not today, Paco, not today. Tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> How many in your gang? Where is Chato? Where is Chato? I never thought we'd... If I might have him alone, just for a moment. Somewhere where Mrs. Martin might not be upset. I think he might talk. Paco, you and Fernando take him into that cave so the Reverend can demonstrate his skills. What's the preacher going to do? Get some information. He has his ways. That's all you need to know. Good heavens. What kind of creatures are you? How can you be so brutal? Look, Mrs. Martin, that we're all still alive is a miracle. And if you want some more miracles, while well, you just leave these men alone, you understand? I do. But all, all I want is to get back to New Orleans. Please show me the way, and, and you can have all the gold. The only way you're going to get back is through Nido de Aguila, and that's with us. Now go get on your horse. spoke very eloquently, poor soul. They tortured and killed Mr. Martin. There's only a few men left behind who would attacked us. But the gold, the gold. Chalo took it with him. He's gone back to Nido de Aguila. But it's our gold. Wait a minute. What the hell happened to Gomez? 
<laughs> it was Gomez who told Shadow in the first place. He's gone to join him to get his share. That bastard. What about the wounded man? The poor creature is now an angel. He's with our Lord in heaven, at least I hope. So we'll walk them from here on. Why can't we just go past Nido de Aguila and head for the border? Not a chance. I'm sorry I caused all this killing, all this madness. Madness and greed were in men's hearts a long time before you came, Mrs. Martin. In your heart, too, Mr. Collins? Yeah, they were in my heart. Were? They were, hmm? Fernando's friend. Fernando, thank God you're safe. He's all right, Senor Collins. Chato came this morning with his whole gang. You should have seen them. Come on, tell us. Chato took over everything, and anybody who wasn't entirely with Chato, or else they ran away. How many got away? Oh, some of us. Myself and Juanita. And exactly how many, and where are they? Five, six. They're down beyond those rocks. Let's go. Where's Juanita? You said she got out. She did, Paco, but she heard that you'd all been killed. And she didn't know what to do, who would take care of us, so she went back with Chato. Chato. Paco, this isn't a job for one man alone. It's going to be tough enough for all of us. Tough for those others. They don't carry any guns. What good are they without guns? Fernando, you keep them here out of sight.
Now listen to me. Here's the church, and here we are. Paco, you and Riley will come with me. Fernando, you take the rest of the men. Mrs. Martin, you and Bobo will stay with the ammunition. Right? Texas. Your own country and your own gold, Trato. Right? And my own princess. And once we discover Collins' arsenal, all the guns I will need. About the guns, Chateau, I just remember something. What? Come, I show you. Continue to play, little princess. I will be listening to know you are still here. Well, you remember, Gomez, about the guns. Oh, a map. I took it from Collins. I think it shows where he hides the guns. Uh -huh. to cheat all of us. He wanted to escape with the gold while we stayed here squabbling among ourselves. Where's Chato? Where buzzards feed. From now on, this is Gomez gang. Anyone who doesn't like it can get out. Now. All right, by me. Me too. One moment. Not by me, because I, I'm for six... Anyone want to join him? something.
your fire. I want to listen. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. Mike. Now more than four. Yeah. Take a party out. Come on. Thank you. Where did Shadow hide the gold? How would I know? Do you imagine that Shadow told me? No. But I know your habits. I saw you follow him. Where did he go? Tell me, Princess. Where did Shadow hide the gold? What is it? I don't have any time to play. Where is it? All right. Where? I'm waiting. Put it in the well. In the old chapel. That's better. John, cover me. Let's go. in there. And the gold. It's gonna take some time. Where's Riley? Till doomsday. But, but who's doomed? Gomez. 
room for Colin and for all his friends. as a friend. I want to talk to Gomez. Gomez. I want to join you. Why? I never trust false preachers. Yes. He's at the old chapel, taking the gold away. Get him! Thank you. 
Trap for yourself, Gomez, and I've come to catch you. <laughs> you better save your bullets, Gomez. I got plenty of time. Collins, I, I want to make a deal with you. Half the gold. Sorry, too many partners. All right, Collins. All the gold, if you let me go and live. I want you to keep your gun, Gomez. Thank you. Don't mention it. It's about two days to the border, Mrs. Martin, and then I'll, uh, I'll point you toward New Orleans. And yourself, Mr. Collins? Hmm?